Welcome to State Attack. Let's take a look at enabling Wi-Fi calling on your iPhone SE. Now if your carrier supports it, you can actually use your Wi-Fi network to make phone calls whenever you have weak signals. So if I were to tap on my settings, we'll swipe down until we see phone, and then up down in the top of the screen we see calls. I have Wi-Fi calling, and if I tap on that, it's going to allow me to use Wi-Fi calling on this phone. Now the fine print does say make and receive calls over Wi-Fi with my AT&T account. So I do have AT&T as my cellular provider and they do provide Wi-Fi calling. Now again, this is going to be something that's provided by your carrier. AT&T supports this. I'm not entirely sure if the other carriers do. I would assume they do, but you might not see this if your carrier does not support it. You'll need to review your carrier's emergency calling information to understand the limits of emergency calling over Wi-Fi. Now there are some limitations again with calling over Wi-Fi. There's no physical address tied to Wi-Fi because everything is done over an IP. So basically whenever you enable Wi-Fi calling, it's going to use your billing address for your home address whenever you dial 911. And you might need to set up something different with your carrier and I would suggest going through those processes if you're going to enable Wi-Fi calling. So that way if you do need to actually call an emergency service, they'll be able to pinpoint your location due to the, the actual emergency information that you've set up with your carrier. Now if you've done all that, enable Wi-Fi calling just by tapping on that toggle. It's going to give you one last warning. When I join a network, information about the country where the network connection is made will be sent to my carrier for details like billing, short code calls, the city will be sent for call routing, and I can change this in the settings. Now once I enable this, Wi-Fi calling will be enabled for this phone, and I'll be able to use that. So if I'm in an area with low signal, and I'm always connected to a Wi-Fi network, Wi-Fi calling can be really handy. But again, as I stated earlier, there are those limitations with emergency services, not being able to fully get your location because everything's coming in over an IP address. So you will need to update all of your emergency contact information with your carrier and all of your billing information. And if you've done all that, go ahead and enable and Wi-Fi calling will be enabled on your device. For more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to State of Tech. We'll see you in the next video.